Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting the mighty Death Worship Extermination Mass Mini LP, EP, whatever you want to call it, on Nuclear War Now, and the mighty Ross Bay Cult. Ross Bay Cult Eternal. This is so fucking good. And on the subject of Black Death, War, etc., whatever you want to call it. I want to talk about Black Witchery's Inferno of Sacred Destruction. Fuck yeah. This is Fidru Hell's Headbangers, and uh, also, I should have known this off the top of my head, Darkness Attack Records as well. And this is, in my opinion, Black Witchery at their fucking finest. Seriously? the sound on here, it doesn't sound like they're about to go off the rails, which may, you know, push some fans off to the side and be like, oh, that's not the black witchery I love. I love that off the rails fucking absolute gnarly bombardment of blasphemy. And I feel like you get that on this, but with like just better songwriting, more memorable riffs. Like, as much as I love Upheaval of Satanic Might, this, from a songwriting perspective, is just such a stronger fucking release. Like, I, I, I love it. And it's on just a kind of trans black tape. Side Damnation, Side Impurity. Black Witchery, Keep Things True. U.S. Black Metal. Very, very vicious shit. If you're a fan of Blasphemy, Conqueror, Death Worship, Caveman Cult, Arch Goat, you know, the, the good shit, then you're gonna fucking love Black Witchery, and you probably already do love Black Witchery. I feel like some people don't actually, like, really love this band. They, like, just, just say they like them because it's kind of expected if you're a fan of, like, Black Death and whatnot, that you're gonna love Black Witchery. I know some people that really don't like Black Witchery, but they love Revenge, which, you know, it's kind of weird. But, like, I feel like Death Worship, Blasphemy, and Conqueror are, like, the three best out there. But then there's, like, newer bands, like Anti, uh, Antichrist Siege Machine, who really, really take that Ross Bay cult formula of, like, Sarcophago as well. I have to, you know, give credit where credit's due. But, they take that sound and make it their own by adding this, like, crusty punk edge to it, and it's great seeing bands take that, like, you know, Sarcophago blasphemy, but here at formula of, like, war, black death awesomeness and making it their own where that's where I feel Black Witchery at first, you know, it's like, oh, it's just your standard Blasphemy clone. When you hear their Conqueror cover on here, you'll probably be eating your own words. Like, this is definitely Black Witchery sounding like Black Witchery on this release, especially. This and the Revenge Split are, that, that, to me, that's the best material Black Witchery's ever done. It's just so fucking good. And rest in peace, Trajenda. And I just needed to say that, but you get your standard cemetery photo. I do not know if that was taken at Ross Bay Cemetery in Vancouver, but we could just pretend it was. But the art in here is great. At first I thought it was a Chris Moyan piece, but I was wrong, there's other people that can draw badass black and white, evil ass fucking illustrations with red font, but uh, this is illustrations and all demonic art by Sickness666. This dude hates Christ, loves goats, just does an amazing job, and like some of the tracks on here have like uh, lyrics by, uh, I'm trying to find it, right here, of, uh, the lyrics of I, the Ritual Butcherer of Archgoat, Ascension of the Obscure Moon, 
and just like I said, amazing, amazing artwork. If you're a fan of like that Chris Moyen style of just absolute evil, fucking just Christ bashing awesomeness in the form of art, it's great. And musically, like, it's crazy. Like, at times, like, I love how certain black death bands start sounding like actual grind bands. And it's, like, to me, that's when it's like, all right, this fucking rules. And that's what, to me, also stands out about Black Witchery. It's just the relentless onslaught of evil and just fucking... You can just tell the riffs are just vengeful, sinister, and just fucking malefic. It's awesome. Everything about this release is fucking sick. If you're a fan of Blasphemy, Conqueror, you know, Sarcophago, obviously, Archgoat, you need to get into Black Witchery if you already aren't. And if you're a fan of Black Witchery and you want to get a little gnarlier, get into some Caveman Cult. That's some savage shit. Along with Antichrist Siege Machine, there's tons of cr revenge is fucking sick, but I, I just love that black witchery sound that like, as like you know all those blasphemy you know kind of wannabe bands. I don't want to say wannabe because but just those blasphemy and like sarcophago inspired black death, bestial, bestial, you know whatever war metal, whatever you want to fucking call it. Let's just call it fucking sick. Alright? And to me, this is some of Black Witchery's best work here on Inferno of Sacred Destruction. Cassette on Hell's Headbangers. This is absolute fucking fire. So, now that's the regular review. And we were blasting some Death Worship, Extermination Mass, the, B, the A side of things. I'm sorry. Um... We're going to throw on the B-side of things and do the Ross Bay cult style review of Black Witchery's Inferno of Sacred Destruction. So, I'll be right back. Hey, what's up, it's Shell. Welcome to a new episode of Voodoo Voodoo Vlog. Today, we're going to be blasted Conqueror War Cult Supremacy from Vancouver. Nuclear War Now reissue! We're gonna be speaking today about our brothers down in Florida in Black Witchery! Inferno of Sacred Destruction! Pure fucking hellfire from down south! For this is a shame! This is awesome! What else do you fucking need to know? It got to fucking <clears throat> Alright, so I guess the overall consensus of both of those reviews is that Inferno of Sacred Destruction by Black Witchery is some of their best material. Definitely some of their strongest when it comes to a songwriting perspective and just one of their most vicious in general. The fucking B-side of things, Impurity, that Conqueror cover makes this pretty much worth buying alone. I'm pretty sure Hell's Headbangers handled the um, vinyl and CD release, but I could be wrong and maybe Nuclear War Now did, but it's definitely floating around on either one of those labels if you want a copy. This is so fucking good, and Darkness Attack Records as well. Great stuff by Black Witchery. Some of their best material. But, um, yeah. We've been listening to some Crips on Ending Degregation on MSUO and Dark Descent. This is a reissue of their debut full length. So fucking good. I love Crips. Their new album as well. Remnants of Expansion, so fucking good. Not new, but newer. But amazing Finnish death metal with a doomy atmospheric influence. It's awesome. I love that fucking band. But yeah, if you want some total savagery, get into some black witchery. But if for some reason you're looking for something a tad bit gnarlier and more blasphemous, 
I would check out maybe some, uh, Corifragrium, Beast of the Temple of Satan, definitely. And, uh, maybe Antichrist Seed Machine, Morbid Throne, and Caveman Cult's whole entire discography. So yeah, Black Witchery, Inferno of Sacred Destruction. As always, thanks for watching, you guys fucking rule, hails. <laughs>